The Galaxy A5 X series has been one of Samsung's most intriguing phone lines. For several years, these devices have led the company's mid-range portfolio, with each new release offering something fresh. Now Samsung is working on the next version, and it has just appeared in online benchmark tests. The Galaxy A56 made an appearance on Geekbench today, undergoing several test runs. Specifically, four tests were uploaded, with the phone achieving a maximum score of 1,353 in single-core tests and 3,847 in multi-core tests. The upcoming mid-range star is anticipated to feature a new Samsung-made chipset, the Exynos 1580. This soak appeared on Geekbench earlier this summer, though it recorded lower scores than the latest results. At that time, the chip reached 1,046 points in single-core and 3,000, 678 points in multi-core tests. Today's tests directly associate the Galaxy A56 model number SM A566B with the new Exynos 1580 chipset, and they reveal a notable performance improvement, particularly in single-core tests. The Galaxy A56, or at least the version tested online, seems to come with 8 gigs of RAM. According to the benchmarking platform, the unannounced Exynos 1580 chipset features a tri-cluster CPU design. One cluster consists of four cores clocked at 1.95 GHz, another has three cores at 2.60 GHz, and a final cluster includes a single high-performance core running at 2.91 GHz. The chip is also expected to include a new GPU, promising enhanced gaming performance. Samsung is developing a mid-range chipset called the Exynos 1580, which is expected to rival the flagship SOX from 2021, such as the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 and Exynos 2100. A Geekbench listing reveals that the new chipset will feature a CPU with one core clocked at 2.91 GHz, three cores at 2.6 GHz, and four cores at 1.95 GHz, closely mirroring the Exynos 2100 or Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. The Exynos 1580 is projected to achieve a single-core score exceeding 1,000 and a multi-core score of 3,678 on Geekbench 5, comparable to the flagship chipsets from 2021, which were built on a 5-MIM FinFET process technology. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below. Peace out.